Hey, what's going on everyone? Back here with another video. Today I'll be opening Mosaic Football and Mosaic Baseball. Uh, I usually don't open football cards, but uh, I found this value pack on the Target website and it's only 15 bucks, so it's a cheap way to open up some football, look for some of the good rookie quarterbacks from 2021. Uh, I'm a Patriots fan, so I'll be looking for some Mac Jones rookie cards, but other than that, don't have too much interest in football, um, and I also scored a Mosaic Blaster box, so this will be Mosaic video. Um, I got this at my general store um, when I was out in the wild hunting um, for some cards, only 20 bucks, which is, um, I think they're going for 30 on the Target website, and um, maybe even more in Walmart, so... Not a bad deal. Um, I haven't opened up, I think I opened up a value pack before of Mosaic Baseball, but never a blaster box. So I'm looking forward to that, looking for the good rookies in 2021. Um, and yeah, um, got a new setup. Um, finally got my tripod in. Um, makes it so much easier. I can actually see the screen. Um, and I can make just opening these packs so much easier. Um, but if anything's off center, I apologize. It's my first time using it. I had to play around for a little bit for the setup, but um, I do have a lot more coverage and um, yeah, just being able to see the screen while I, while I open it to make sure um, everyone can see. Uh, see my uh, Wander collection back here, but all found on video, so you can find those in my previous videos. Had an insane blaster box um, where I found each one of the. I got a, the Wander insert, the regular Wander, and um, this commemorative patch, um, which is it's not authentic, but still pretty cool and still worth a little bit of money. Um, I'm ex I was excited about that. I was in a previous video, but today hopefully. We'll pull some fire out of this mosaic. Um, the mosaic football I know is pretty popular. Um, I try to follow like the when Target and Walmart releases online. It's so much easier um, and cheaper that way. And I know they're pretty a hot commodity. I think the blaster boxes are going for maybe thirty on Target's website, but can't go wrong with value packs really. Um, glued. Um, can't go wrong with value packs. Have a good shot at getting a, a rookie and some cool parallels. Um, so yeah, Russell Wilson, now a Denver Bronco. Um, I think the football free agency is just as crazy as the baseball, but I'm, I'm loving it. I love free agency. I love when it gets it's hot. Um, here we go. It's Take a look at these cards. I think it's similar. Going to be the same design as the baseball. Um, but yeah, football is not my favorite. I do know that there's some good quarterbacks though. Um, yes, the design's a little uh, bland, but these parallels look really nice. And you can see a little bit of shine in the back. And this looks like a little bit of a different one. I don't know if that color in the corner means anything, but the bus, I loved the bus as a kid. There's some cool, cool throwback players there. Insert, Charles Tillman. Bears, I think, are headed in the wrong direction. Um, just got rid of Khalil Mack, so it's a bummer. And this looks like a cool card. Brian Dawkins, nice. It's pretty cool, I like that. That shine. And here's another one of these inserts. A Danian Tomlinson, that's a really fun player. Um, I loved watching him as a kid too. And that's pretty cool. Devontae Adams, he was on my fantasy team this year. Did really well. Um, he's definitely, I think I took him in the first round and he didn't disappoint. And he's got Rodgers back this year, but it's, I think there's something about him not wanting to deploy until he gets a new contract and that looks like a like a rainbow foil Blake Martinez 
And here comes the rookie cards. Cornell Powell, wide receiver for the Chiefs. And Mike Strachan. Strachan. Yeah, nothing really. I like the inserts, but nothing really doing it for me. What's this bonus pack? It's very, very thin. Hopefully there's a quarterback in here, but um, yeah. N not expecting too much out of a value pack. Just got to get lucky. Sorry. See a spoiler there. Oh, there's some pink similar to the baseball value packs. Marlon Humphrey. Please be a rookie. And Derrick Henry. It's pretty cool. And there's a rookie. Rashawn Slater. All right, well, nothing really doing there, but still cool. I was off to the side, and we'll get into the mosaic baseball. Nothing really sleeveable in that football pack. A little disappointing. Definitely won't be purchasing, repurchasing. As you can see, I did. I found that tops in the um, at a Walmart, so I just picked it up for twenty bucks and. I was thinking of just getting one more blaster after the success. I should probably just quit while I'm ahead, but it's fun. I like opening baseball way more than football for sure. Because it's either hit or miss. Like you get a good quarterback or you get nothing out of football. So I'll see how many packs we get over here. Oh yeah, what do you all think about the crazy free agency going on right now? It's a lot of fun. Uh, Red Sox are kind of being disappointing right now. Um, didn't re-sign Schwarber. Um, got a few relievers, but they said they were in on uh, Freddie Freeman, but I, I don't know about that. I don't know if that's real. Just leave that under here. Trying to get a good backdrop. Um, got a fantasy baseball magazine. Went to Barnes & Noble during my hunt and just to see if they had any cards for a long shot but didn't have any and i hate to just go in and not buy anything so i got a fantasy baseball magazine i've been um trying to keep up with the fantasy baseball stuff but all these injuries and um players getting traded new systems i'm waiting until as long as i can to do my drafts even though i'm itching to do it but these injuries coming out are pretty crazy. Like Tatis, that was that was a bummer. Um, he'll be back, but it's important to follow follow these injuries before you draft because they haven't seen team doctors since what November. So, um, yeah, it's definitely a good idea to wait and see who's in the opening day roster too. Like if you want to get see Bobby Witt Jr. or um, What's it? Julio Rodriguez on the Mariners. Just see who makes the team. Like, I don't want to be drafting any AAA players. Um, but here we go with the Mosaic Baseball. Oh, there's a Kalanick. That's a good one. Cool. That'll go in my good card pile. There. Davey Garcia, rookie. Nice parallel right there. I know Mosaic has a ton of parallels, so I'm not going to be able to rattle off the names of them. That's pretty cool. And Joey Votto. Looks like that's an insert. I know these Mosaic boxes, I think, have one insert per pack. Um, so, a lot of inserts. Only four cards per pack. 25% of your cards will be inserts. And I'm... At the 21, I'm looking for Car Dylan Carlson's and Kellenics. Those are my my two guys. Um, I like Jazz and um, Key Brian too, but I think potential wise, Carlson will have the most solid career and can definitely be an all star. There's Tarek Skubal. There's an Ichiro parallel insert, and that's pretty cool. George Kell for the Tigers. But yeah, fantasy baseball, I'm, I always overthink who to draft. Like, so many guys are injury prone. Trout, 
Acuna, Tatis. Um, let's see, I, I'm just going to try to go with consistency. Um, like, I, would, I want like 10 Paul Goldschmidt's or um, just players that are hitting like 140 games consistently. Um, I know any injury is like a freak injury, but you got to at some point look at the consistency of the players. There's a rookie. Ooh, that's pretty nice. That's an Ian Anderson rainbow foil parallel. Cool. That's a good card. Right there. I should sleeve these up quickly. Um, but yeah, I, I overthink like crazy. I'm like... Are they going to have a down year? Did, if they had a down year last year, are they going to bounce back? At some point, you just got to gotta pick your players. But um, I have a few a few in mind that are definite. Um, definitely want to keep my radar on and put them on my team. And then these young guys, will they break out? Like, it's a lot of, it's a guessing game. Um... It's still fun though. Keeps keeps the season interesting all the way through. Following your fantasy baseball team. That looks pretty cool. In the back. Monkey bets. See what that is. So Dallas Keuchel. Peterson rookie. Mets have been um, biggest winner of the off season so far. Our own pretty crazy with their money but it's awesome it's good to see there's a Kershaw parallel um out of you know just crapped all over the Yankees this is finally a good team in New York which was funny he was he was solid he I think when the sticky stuff went away oh that's pretty cool hot sauce Mookie Betts that's awesome I love Mookie Betts even though he we traded them, but traded them because we weren't going to give them the max deal. Um, it's still pretty, and he went to the Dodgers too, but he's still just like a good guy. Um, someone to root for, for sure. Um, and a great bowler. So I remember watching him, seeing his name on the scoreboard. Uh, in triple A, and I was like, Mucky, that's such a funny name. Um, I have weird, just remembering weird prospects, like back when I was a kid, like Jacoby Ellsbury. Uh, I remember I thought his name was Tuckoby Ellsbury, because that's, like, they used a weird font on the, um, the scoreboard back when it was Pawtucket, the Pawtucket Paw Sox. Ooh, and there's a Devers, that's pretty cool. Producers and Tristan McKenzie, rookie debuts. Um, so we got a few packs left. Hope you're enjoying the video. And I'm liking this a lot more than the football pack. <laughs> Actually, get some decent rookies out of here. The Kalanick. Um, it's just the base, so it's not not anything too crazy, but. Still fun to add to the collection. Um, sort of trying to kind of PC Carlson, but um, not sure yet. And speaking, nope, that's Joe Adele. I saw the red helmet and I was hoping in the rookie card. Joe Adele, another good prospect though. And Glaber. Glaber, I think, is going to be second base. I believe for the Yankees, kind of fluff at shortstop. Um, they made a few moves too, nothing too crazy, but by the Yankees standard, yeah, they haven't done much, haven't spent any money, which um, I think I want to see them at least being competitive, um, which I think Judge and Stanton kind of get you there, but World Series team, I don't know. Um, same as the Red Sox, like they've got decent players, including this guy. Um, 
who I think can be a top 10 player and be in the running for MVP on his at his best. I said he had a down year last year. Um, and he still, I think, led a few categories or was at the top of a few categories. But Red Sox, they need to do something. I mean, there's always the trade deadline, but still, like, going, just trying to run it back when I feel like they had a lucky season last year, getting that far. They just got hot at the right time. Um, they actually got cold at the wrong time, the way end of the year, and we didn't know if they were going to make the playoffs, and then all of a sudden they they came to life. I think Devers had that clutch home run in Washington. Um and that wild card game was one of the most fun games I've ever watched against the Yankees, going absolutely nuts. Um, especially against supposedly the best pitcher in the league, just completely taking him out of the game. And here's our rookie, Paredes. She gets after him. Keston here, a parallel. And Jack Morris. All right, we got one more pack here. Hopefully we can hit something decent. Uh, I, I'm not sure. If, I think these might be blue. I watch, tried to watch a few videos before I opened this just to know what to expect. Nothing crazy, no numbered cards. Just got the Adele and the Kalanick, I think, are the stars of the show. And I don't know why I put Glaber over here on top of the hot sauce monkey. Yeah, and these are these are sharp. I like these. I like them more than the pink. Let's see over here. Or the pinkish purple, I can't tell. Blue just look nice and better chance to color match. Um, purple, pink, you can't really we get something good out of here. It's a Corey Seager. That's a nice color match, but not what we're looking for. You know, he won't be changing colors going to Texas. That team will be, I think every team will be entertaining this year. Last year, Texas, I don't think they're, they didn't really have that many exciting players, but um, I think every team at least has one like player to watch or young player that could be a stud. So it's, it's fun. It'll be a fun year. So yellow, I don't even know if we're gonna get a rookie out of here. Oh, there's a rookie. And it's Daniel Johnson. So nothing too crazy. Um Joe Adele, the hot sauce. Um, this Ian Anderson is pretty nice. I think you might get one of these for Blaster Box, but it's like a rainbow foil kind of thing. Not numbered, but I like it. Um Got a parallel of Rafi Devers. Pretty nice. Kalanick. And just the base, like the Odell. Adele. Um, and this is not too bad either. I don't know if he'll he'll amount to anything, but is that a print line? Or is that actually part of the card? But yeah, Debbie Garcia right there. Alright. Thank you for watching the video.